<ríe> porque se estrenó hoy en no Apple TV Plus, se estrenó hoy en Apple TV Plus el documental Sidney, que nos habla sobre la vida y obra de Sidney Poitier, este actor emblemático, afroamericano, activista, importante, eh, pues por los derechos humanos y principalmente por los derechos de la comunidad afroamericana en su país. Y la productora detrás de ellos, nada más y nada menos que Oprah Winfrey, eh, con quien tenemos aquí una pequeñita charla, pero que nos habla bastante de por qué enfocarse y a partir de cuándo en hacer este documental. Vamos a escuchar. Because there's nobody I adore and admire more than Sidney Poitier. This was a couple of years ago, and certainly long before he had passed. And so the idea of telling his story and having it as an offering to the world so that people would come to know him as I know him, the essence of who he is as a man, the essence of who he is as, you know, this world's great actor, um, was an exciting project to be a part of. I mean, I, I, it, this has been an act of love for me. Not one meeting, not one virtual Zoom, not one conversation has ever been an inconvenience because any time I can talk about Sidney Poitier, it's a good time. Yeah, the most impressive thing to me was getting the Juanita interview and uh, uh, integrating the, the tapestry of stories from all of the family members, uh, particularly the daughters and especially um, Juanita. I mean, I knew the stories very much So, I mean, I've heard the stories from his own lips and had read the stories myself and was uh, instrumental in having, you know, one of the longest interviews I think ever done with him over a period of two days mm -hmm. that becomes a foundation for this, this documentary. That's why we get to hear him tell his story in his own voices, because I had all that footage of him speaking about his life. And so um, the biggest surprise to me was the family. Yeah. There are seminal stories for me. That story, certainly, the parents being the root and foundation of who he was. The other story is the, him turning down the $750 a week yes. when he was desperate to have money for Pamela, who was being born at the time, mm -hmm. and knowing that he was going to have to go borrow money, but turning down that role and that money because his sense of who he was, his integrity was so strong, he wouldn't take the money or the role. That to me defines who you grow up in a community where everything you know is powerful and good and it's black. There's no concept of race that defines. He was in the car hmm. on the tarmac with the $150,000 in the briefcase with the Ku Klux Klan chasing them as he's trying to deliver the money to the civil rights movement before there was a civil rights law, mm -hmm. a voting law. Mm -hmm. And so you, you just can't be more radical than the money in the suitcase delivering it to the civil rights movement with the Ku Klux Klan chasing your car. Yeah. And doing this at a time where, I mean, listen, black people had no power anywhere. And so for him to demonstrate that to the world and particularly to us, I mean, oh, Lord, if you were a black person and saw that on screen for the first time, it was revolutionary. And I would also say that in every conversation, every encounter experience I ever had with Sidney Poitier, I came away from it higher, stronger, deeper than I went in. Mm. And uh, I, I just feel that uh, any time spent with him left me expanded mm. as a human being as a woman, as a citizen of the world. And I think that when you watch our film, you come away th with the same thing. You come away with a sense of, ah, he could do that. I wonder what I could do. Ahí está, ya encuentran en la plataforma de Apple TV Plus este documental eh, que creo que es muy interesante porque sí pone, como, como lo decíamos ahorita con un extraño enemigo, pone en contexto eh, la lucha de los derechos humanos de la comunidad afroamericana y la importancia de que existan figuras dentro de la cultura popular que tengan el valor de tener una postura, sí. eh, ¿no? Y de, bueno, en el caso de la historia que contaba aquí, ¿no? Incluso de cargar la lana en maletines con el Ku Klux Klan persiguiéndolos para entregarlo a, antes de que haya una marcha de derechos humanos. Siendo una figura tan conocida tener como una tal, postura, eras, como dices. Tener una postura es, es importante. Sí, muy importante. Pues qué bueno que nos trajiste esta entrevista. Uh, sí, gran, gran. Sí, gran, gran y también la de un extraño enemigo. Antonio, muy Oye, buena. Oye, 